Hello and welcome to a Water Cooler, episode number 309, also known as 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus th- 33. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking the time to hear us flap our gums about anything and everything. You know how the show goes. I, Chris Loxamana, kick it with my cruel digital buds like Gary Smith. What's up, what's up? What's up, Gary? A claw. Matt Fondelier's here. Hey, brother. And Mike Dawson. What is happening? Yo, yo. Ah, a lot's going on. A lot's going on. First off, I'll just kick off the show saying thanks to everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, I got them. I saw the the posts in the Facebook group, the tweets, the messages. I appreciate it, and I just want to say thank you. You didn't get any on the air, though. You didn't, uh, <laughs> you didn't want to bring that up or anything? I guess it's not up to you to bring it I up, didn't... but I, most of us have made a point to at least joke about the fact that we should be celebrated on our own day. Yeah. yeah, but we did an entire show. We look like dicks. Yeah, I even had a calendar, uh, a calendar reminder set for a little bit before we were supposed to record, and I didn't see it. So I came back to my computer, and it was sitting there. And right in front of Chris, I went, "Fuck! I didn't get to wish you a happy birthday on the air." Yeah, he, he, he as soon as the mics turned off, I was on my way. I was leaving because we we're gonna, we we're all gonna go to Golden Road and meet Lynette. And Gary's just like, oh, "F! I forgot to wish you a happy birthday." Hmm. And, you did it on purpose, didn't you? What? You did it so that you could be fuming after the show is over and be like, these guys always forgetting my special day, my time in the sun. You think I'd purposely victimize myself like that just so I can have content, I mean, content for this show? I did it without any incentive for content. Mm. <laughs> I took my birthday off Facebook one year. Really? Mm-hmm. And I went out to dinner with one of my best friends and didn't oh, mention it. <laughs> he got really mad when he figured it out like a week later. A lot of people use Facebook as the birthday reminder. I mean, that is a very useful tool. I'll be honest. I get alerts uh, when it's my friend's birthday, and I yeah. didn't realize, like, oh, my God, it's his birthday or her birthday. I should text him. Well, here's what's weird is a very common question that people just say without even thinking about it is, what's up or what's going on? And it feels weird to respond, uh, you know, it's my birthday, but if it is in fact your birthday, I feel like you do need to be honest when you are answering this very simple question. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be like, what's up? Eh, you know, just another day. Well, here's just the thing. Just like any other day of the year, yeah, not but, that but here, one but day on. it's different. But here's the thing, Matt, and I, I don't know if it would have been different in a different scenario, but the day we asked him and the day we recorded was not, in fact, his birthday. No. It wasn't so I before. could have come down yeah. on him pretty yeah. hard mm-hmm. if he had been like, well, you know, just celebrating my birthday. I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? That shit's not until tomorrow. Yeah. I see. So it was released on your birthday. Even if it was my birthday, I, I do feel it just it's weirdly douchey. It's like, hey, what's up, Chris? Mm-hmm. Oh, nothing. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I, mean, I can't though. do I agree. That. There's no way to there's no way to to let people know without feeling weird about yeah. it. We need well, like I just a- want to say happy birthday. Thanks, Doss. And I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, that's I, it? Oh. I gotta... I, I, Son uh, of a gun. Fucking, they're already in Glendale. <laughs> Worst birthday ever. Going to... Okay, well, tell people, I'm gonna make, I'm nope, gonna make a uh, phone call. All right. Getting call. I'll be right back. I'll explain okay. what's okay. going on with right Dawson. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the audience don't, is... Don't, 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 don't explain. That was for off air. It's a good thing we didn't do the show. My... We should uh, just let him leave. Why do we? I, why do we? Raise I could have lied. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, Mike has a has some personal issues to uh, to deal with, but I don't know. It's, they sound they sound awesome. So hopefully yeah. it works out. Um, so your birthday it was good. You had a good weekend. It was good, and I did that thing just now where, uh, okay, we we grew up in like the social media era where it all started like when we were in college, right? And I was thinking about this because. Lynette was on our show, our Patreon show, by the way. Yeah, she Shout was out great. To Lynette. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy that one. Patreon.com yeah, slash water cooler. Yes, and, uh, and also go there to check out our Jumanji movie night as well. <laughs> wow, I forgot we even did that. It's yeah. like a dream. It's been a busy, busy <laughs> yeah. couple weeks here. Yeah, we've it been has rocking been. it, man. But anyway, she was ta- we were talking about um, Natalia's social media and what it's like for her dealing with it because a teenage girl's social media, Gary mentioned that. Girls that age have multiple accounts. There's sure. like a whole thing with it, right? Yeah. There's going to be that. There's going to be different eras of social media. And we're in like, we're in a weird one right now. It started weird. And I was thinking about it. Like, we got it first. And I remember with like the MySpace and the Facebook stuff, like, I would say most of my friends' pictures were like 
solo red cups and partying and things like that. And then and then kind of got word like, oh, jobs kind of look at your social media now to um, before they hire you and things like that. And then it kind of all of a sudden it just progressed <laughs> to yeah, the professional very, headshot <laughs> of the person. Right. And it very quickly became a tool. Like I remember shortly after I graduated, the school districts were using these parties and pictures to get people on like uh, substance abuse violations. Oh, interesting. Like, there's zero yeah. tolerance. Like if you're in our school, you cannot use alcohol because you are a teenager. And they just find pictures of red cups and be like, all right, that's it. It's a violation. Yeah, because it was so mm. new to us. So we didn't realize like we were putting ourselves no. on blast by, or, you know, narking on ourselves for <laughs> when we were partying and using that as our pictures. And, and then, you know, people like jobs I had, they would post stuff like, oh, yeah, I'm at this party. And then, like, I'd be working. They're like, and my boss would just go, he called in sick. What is going on? Like, like, cause it didn't, you didn't really realize it yet. But now it's, it's, it seems so obvious now. Don't yeah. do that. Don't tag me in any of your photos, everybody. Don't post anything. This is a, this is a secret event. You're cool, right? right? Yeah, you're cool, right? And I was thinking about Natalia and Lynette, and I thought, oh, and that's interesting that Natalia doesn't let Lynette follow her or anything like that, or, you know, has a secret accounts, whatever. And I thought, I kind of had that too. Like when my mom got on social media, I don't want her following me. Yeah, I don't want to see how weird would it be to have your mom listen to every episode of this podcast that you were on? I mean, it was it was already traumatizing when Jen's dad came up to me and went, uh, hey, I checked out the water cooler today. Uh. That podcast that you're on, I'm like, oh god, that's the sentence I never want to. Oh god, oh god, oh god. But <laughs> see, but but producer LL, yeah, I mean, she's she's like one of us. So. My yeah. mom is starting she's to no show dude. a uh, faint interest, curiosity, yeah, curiosity, and I am uh, <laughs> devastated. No, no, absolutely not. Oh, really? I will, I will straight up tell her if she says she listened to one episode, I'll be like, okay, great, don't listen anymore, don't really? listen to the show, mom. Hmm. She'd be like, what about that trip yeah. in Hawaii you took? Yeah. You told <laughs> right. me. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> well, Fucking, I can't, I, no way. Really? So let's say she turned she turned it on right now and got just got to this part. Is there a message that you want to that you want to give her right now before we get into any other topic? Yeah, don't smoke. Smoking is bad. Okay. Okay. And um shouldn't curse so much. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, just good rules to live by. And that's yeah. the way I portray yes. myself on this show. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Of yes. course. Uh, we appreciate your good Catholic values. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, you know, I like to be... Uh, You're laughing at an off-air joke, right? Not like, like that. I like to be the light around here, you know, bring mm. you guys closer to God. That's well, good. yeah, and your 10 years of comedy. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing funny. Doing funny for 10 for years. For 10 years. Excuse me. My mistake. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you for correcting me. By the way, people in the Facebook group love that quote. They were mm-hmm. quoting it. Everybody loves it. Yeah. I mean, you've been doing funny for a long time. Been doing funny for Decade. 10 years. Just Is your thing years. okay, dude? Just 10 years. Yeah, I was able to get on the phone with them, and we just rescheduled it for Sunday. Hey, so okay. you get to stay. So I get to stay. This really Yay. is a, it's a birthday miracle. So it's all good. <laughs> Happy birthday, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I don't mind saying it. Uh, I got an above-ground pool. Yeah, it's gonna fit great in my backyard. Wow. But I got a major deal on it because somebody put it in their house three months ago, and now the dude's wife wants it out of there. Why? What's mm. up with it? No, and she just doesn't want. Their, <laughs> their backyard is small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She their can backyard see it. is small, <laughs> and they don't have a I deck see. around it. Okay. They just got this, and it's winter, and mm. it does look like an eyesore when yeah. it's just standing there on its own. Now let me tell you something, Dawson. I've seen a so lot. So I got of- a good deal, and so I don't want to. Fuck this dude up. He told me he'd be out here. Why would you beat him up? I've seen a lot of horror movies, dude. Sometimes the offer that's too good to be true is too good to be true. Mm-hmm. Make sure nobody's died in that pool. Oh, that could be. Make sure there's no curses on that pool. Right. You, you know, you got to really study the history of these things. You don't want it to destroy your life just because you wanted mm-hmm. to have a, a casual swim. Maybe I, the dude from the Rolling Stones drowned in that pool. No it joke. Could be. Pool, pool ghosts are real. Like I was uh-huh. watching this this documentary. Dude, would, that be, guys? would that be in a above ground pool? Guys. Oh, ooh, above ground ghoul for the poltergeist. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yes. But yeah, they're real. I was watching the, this documentary on Nickelodeon about it. Uh huh. Um, and yeah. Is they, that part of that Are You Afraid of the Dark docuseries? Yes. Yeah. That's the one. And Research pool, is different fears. There's a pool monster. Can Burns see that one? It. They had to kill it with acid. It was, oh, man. Yeah, it was pretty wild. But yeah, so have some acid ready just okay. for the first few months. <laughs> All right. Just in ready. case. 
No, we're going to do the fucking the salt water. It's not actually salt water, but it's a salt filter, and it makes the water softer. Have you ever swam in one of those pools? I yeah. have. It's kind of great. Neat. It's yeah. like, whoa, it, the water feels totally different. What about that thing that our parents always lie to us about, which is the thing that you put in the water <coughs> that will tell you if somebody's peed in it or not? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that, that on a, another Nickelodeon documentary <laughs> about Pete and yeah, Pete. Yeah, about those twins. Yeah. yeah. And, mm-hmm. and I also yeah. saw that in the documentary Grown Ups. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, yes. That won't. That doesn't exist, thank goodness. Uh-huh. We'd know by now. Yeah. Trust me, there would be a lot. Especially with social media. There'd exactly. Be, that yeah. would be like a TikTok challenge. Yeah, exactly. Are, are, are water parks done? No. No way, dude. There's They're, a brand new one being built in Orange County right now. Really? <laughs> Wild Rivers is coming back. Oh, dude, I love awesome. water parks. Wild I had a great. Rivers. I mean, when you you just can't think about it, you can't you can't just think that deep. Think about like, what? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You can't. You also, can't. Raging Waters is still pumping out here, San Diego. That's right. Literally, yeah, yeah. Uh, Raging Waters, Wild Rivers, man, yeah, and Hurricane Harbor. <laughs> yeah, Soak City, Soak City. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget uh, on the East Coast, you got Disney World area. You got Hurricane Harbor. Mm. Right, you yeah. Got, uh, or that's Magic Mountain. What's the? Uh, there's one at Disney World that's like, uh, it's like a winter resort. Oh one. yeah, Disney World. Yeah, it's like a. You're right. Called. I, I can't remember I what it's called, but are you guys aware oh, of yeah. this this phenomenon of uh, hotel chains that have built in indoor water parks called Great Wolf's Lodge that are like designed for kids? Oh, they're like in Minnesota and shit, right? Uh, there's one in Buena Park, Dawson. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're wow. all over the place. That's, that's cool. That feels like a real Minnesota, Wisconsin yeah, an thing indoor... to me. But oh yeah, it, I think it's park. designed for places that are yeah. mostly cold. But uh, shit, yeah, dude, I'm sure. going to Buena Park. Is it a good water park? I don't know. I'll report back. But Probably the, not. the thing is, is that I don't think you can get into the water park unless you're a guest at the hotel. Right. It's like a Lame. whole thing. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go when when the kiddo's old enough. Yeah, so, dude, that'd be great. Room great staycation. Bucks. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. It's not bad. Probably less than that. It's called Typhoon Lagoon. Yes, it is. I've been there. There's also Blizzard Beach. Oh, Blizzard Beach is That's the, the winter one. Is the, yeah, yeah That's Typhoon the Lagoon one. is just a regular old water park. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, water parks are so fun, man. I just I thought with all the COVID stuff that it was just it's just gonna go. Did away. you guys go in the water park at the on the cruise? Everyone's a German. No, I man. did not because that cost extra. Dude, I I did, and it was fucking amazing. Really? Wait, yeah. The water park was that somehow it was on different? the island like Atlantis the or whatever? Oh, no, no. When we when, when we, we were on stopped, the island, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Why am I thinking of they? I thought they had one on the boat. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was just a couple slides. Okay. Oh, we did the slides on the boat. We did. Are you of kidding me, did. dude? We did, we did those a thousand times. Yeah. yeah. Now the water park at the island uh, had this one that you just stand on this fucking thing in this tube, and then the oh, floor yeah. drops out yeah, from like you. That. I did that's do that. So great. I don't like that. Yeah, oh, that was my favorite. It's pretty fun. Yeah, that's yeah. The floor just drop a trap door right underneath yep. you, and you wow. just you're you're on a slide. I just feel like if you get any separation though from like contact with the back, you're just gonna eventually slam and just fuck your shit up. Mm. No, yeah, no. I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, there aren't more water water park injuries. I oh, I think there's not all huge liabilities. Yeah. That's a phrase you want. Yeah. To but what, then why do they still exist? Like, if if people are really getting hurt that often, they, they well, be if shut people because people get hurt because they don't place themselves in the correct position. Like I've gotten airborne on slides before. You know, That's yeah. if you yeah. if, if you go down the slide the way they say to go down the slide, you're fine. And sometimes you're trying you're trying to get air, and if you lift your head up and. You know, you can slam your fucking head on things. We went camping one time at Mono Dam, just somewhere Damn. in California. <laughs> Damn. And um, if you climb up to the top of the dam, it's got this cement <sighs> slide. Not meant for sliding on. That'd be the stereo but slide. Yeah, it's it is that. fucking amazing. And um, we were all wasted, and we shelled out watermelons and cut them in half and put them on our heads and... Went up there. It had nothing to do with the slide. We just said we're gonna put watermelons on our head and do it. Yeah. <laughs> and no uh, over here. And I go down, and you sh- should keep your hands on your head and protect your head. Yeah. And fucking, I went over that first lip and smacked the back of my head. Yeah. On this cement. Luckily, I didn't fucking. Uh, like you had your watermelon head open. on. Luckily, I had my water, but the watermelon went everywhere. There's clearly uh. been lasting damage. So that's what the the. I would believe that the accidents at water parks are because people aren't doing it right. Okay, I, yeah. I, I think you're right. I think it's not doing it right, and it is that you know young kids go for it. Yeah. If you build me a slide that's fun, I'll try to get a little bit extra fun out of it. Because right. there's a sense that this is a sanctioned place. There's a sense of safety. You're like nothing can happen to me here. Yeah. You know this is they've done all the science on well, the water slides. 
Well, and water, and all water, the water slides. All, all the, the water, <laughs> yeah, tons of look. The water slides is is true and real at water parks, and plus, you don't even realize it. you're getting a great workout because if in order to get on like the the raddest slides, you have to climb so high on. Yeah. You have to walk up it's all these stairs, yeah. and then like you mm. walk up halfway, and it goes. Do you want to take this slide? It's not as cool, but you can go now. Yeah, you you're can, like, are you done walking? Yeah, yet? you can go. You can go another, oh. you know, another half. You can up, double what you got. Yeah, for an even better slide. What do you think? And, you know, they're just tempting you this whole time, and then finally you make it up to the top of that slide. Oh. You earned it. You earned that slide. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't even realize you're working out. I'm I'm pro water park here. I I uh, I would like to go to one. It's been it's been too too long. But anyway. The way I started the show, Matt, I was telling you, was I said thank you to everybody. I, like, because there was when also with social media, everyone wishes you happy birthday. It's like, do I respond to every single one individually? Do I like every single one individually? Well, like, some of I, your friends just text you individually, right? I got a ton of texts too. Yeah, and did I, you get mine? I did. Yeah, thank you. For some reason, your phone number on my phone says Jay Miller. Okay, and then I can never fucking then change. No, it I didn't get it. I thought yeah. I was just covering for but you. But it's yeah. your number. It's your number. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I don't read so, it. We, no, it's all, I will, I'll just show you the text so you can see that I texted you on Friday. Uh, all right. I, I want to see the text underneath it that says, dude, this is Jay. Yeah, I'm texting Jay right now. And there, <laughs> right? It says Jay Miller. Oh, don't show me that. It says, dude, happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you texted see Jay. The bottom. See the oh now. yeah, yeah, there it is. And the number. Yeah, your phone does weird stuff to me too. So There's... maybe we should we should just. That's my number. That is Can't your confirm. number. Can't confirm. So you didn't Sorry, get what the number text. was that? I did what not that? get that. Start that number weird. again. What was it? That was it. I can't confirm. It's five six two. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's true. I will, uh, oh, nah. That's weird. Right. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry you did not get my message. Now it's the okay. now the mad dash for the next seven digits. Mm, I'll explain why later. Um. All righty, let's uh, let's see. Well, anyway, so I did that. I just did it on air. Hey, thanks everybody so much. And it really didn't mean a lot. The messages all got to me, and it was so so nice. And uh, my birthday was wonderful because of people like you. Mm. Not all, all the messages made it to you though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. One of them was, I you know, I, I was waiting. It was just like a hole in yeah. my in my heart there, just waiting for it to be filled, a void. Uh, but luckily, I just read it now, and it worked out. So boom, there we go. Boom. Boom. All right, a couple things before we go into comments I want to address. First off, we played this on the Patreon, but I wanted to play it here on this show as well because uh, on Ace on the House, they had a caller. And every once in a while, callers call and they'll bark at Adam. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of confusion. But uh, Jeremy, listener Jeremy called in, and I just want to play because it, it was delightful. And let's take a listen. This is Jeremy calling in to Ace on the House. Uh, Jeremy, 46, Bend, Oregon. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. Hi, guy. Woof, woof to the Boba Boy Army. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Yes, and yeah, from Mr. Uh, Mr. Improv himself, oh, Adam Carolla. It was good. Eric gets, Stromer. Gets me every time. Thank yeah. you, Jeremy. <laughs> New episodes yeah. of Ace on the House every Saturday, by the way. That's true. You think um, it's ever just going to piss Adam off, though? Hey, quit having your fucking people bark at me. Oh, Dawson. You think he has any idea that that had to do with us? He yeah, not. he's not dumb. I don't think he's dumb. I think he's out of it. He did not. It's not like he looked at us when that happened. He was just sort of rolling with like, uh, oh, you just some, somebody just said something that I didn't recognize. Interesting. I think he gets it, but he doesn't want to acknowledge it. So that's uh, it. That's, 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 that's yeah. That's, I'm like, maybe okay. a little bit of both. Like he hears it, goes, oh, sh- not this crap again. Don't look at him. Yeah. <laughs> like, just move on. He also probably doesn't want to encourage it either. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And uh, also, I have an update to the th- the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Uh, debacle that we went over last week. Mm-hmm. I said the story wrong, so I will. Oh, <laughs> no. That must have been a fun conversation when clear. you got home. I mean, it was pretty much the same, just but it wasn't the Saturday after Thanksgiving. They're saying the weekend after Thanksgiving. So Mikey said, "I have a show the weekend after Thanksgiving." That's still correct. That's still it's still the following the weekend Saturday after Thanksgiving starts two days after Thanksgiving. Yes, right. The weekend after Thanksgiving weekend. Is ten days after Thanksgiving. Yeah, sure, but you're also an asshole if you talk that way. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but I agree with your assessment. <clears throat> All right, yeah, good. Hundred percent. Anyway, that was it. Just uh, he was like, "Hey, you said the story wrong. Mm. Let's let's see if the weekend Mikey's... after Thanksgiving changes it." No, it did not. No. All right, there you go. All right, let's get into some comments. Then you guys ready to do this? Let's yeah. do it. All right. Now it's time for the 
All right. And once again, these are all comments found on our Facebook group, and it's so easy to join. Just go to facebook.com slash groups slash Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LLC. Answer a few questions. And just like that, you might be in. Uh, and thanks, everybody, for contributing. It's As I said, it's my favorite place on the Internet. Let's uh, Let's kick this one off. I like this one. This is from Rich McKinney. And he goes, I know I'm late to this conversation, but here's my breakdown for who I relate to most on the podcast. Oh, mm, all right. Interesting. Because remember, people were kind of talking about yeah. that. So Rich says, first and foremost, I relate most to Dawson or Chris simply because I'm a musician as well. And I would thoroughly enjoy sitting down and talking music all day over some whiskey with those two. Wasn't that nice? Rich, I'm down, man. I love talking about music and I love whiskey. I can't drink whiskey all day, though. Yeah, you can. Ooh. Sure you can. I've seen it. Amateur. I mean, okay, I have, but that's not. It never ends well. Dude, if you want to do ah. beer, I got a beer for you. I have this thing at Golden Road called the Old Kentucky Nightcap. And it was- Is it a Kentucky yeah. hug? It was a beer that was made in, like, Elijah- Was it Elijah- What's Woods? Craig? <laughs> I was going to say Wood. <laughs> Elijah Wood Craig Barrels. No, Elijah Craig Wood Barrels. And- uh, yeah, it tasted like someone just poured bourbon into my beer yeah, it was when, like I wasn't, when I wasn't alcohol looking. alcohol that yeah. you showed me? Yeah, it was pretty nice. It specifically said on the menu, you can only have two of these. <laughs> Hence me ordering it. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's a good beer for you to have, Dawson. One, oh, anyway, uh, Rich says, Dawson and Chris, because of the music and the whiskey. Also, Gary. He's the guy who speaks all of the some. Gary's the guy who speaks all of the sometimes blunt but logical things I often catch myself thinking. Hmm. Well, thank you. Uh, Gary and I could sit down and do some people watching and talk till the end of time about all the things that crazy people are doing. That's See, a long time. He just wants to talk yeah. to us for a day, Til but he wants to talk to Gary till the end of time. Till the end of time. Sure, we get whiskey. We better bring whiskey the, and music. He better bring the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah a, that's a lot of whiskey. That's a commitment. Yeah. We're going to end of time. I'm, yeah. I'm going to need some whiskey. Jesus. And as a foodie mm. and lover of the Murr slash Who Done It podcast, I love Chris. I love Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> <Kaylin. laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Matt is the person who speaks to my secondary passions that I tend not to share with others a whole Ooh, lot. My unless, secondary passion of murder. Yes. Yeah, unless barbecue becomes involved in a conversation. Also, love me some clam. And as a foodie and lover of the... Oh, sorry. And Kalen, he speaks to part of me that is a father of two and a guy who's either always working or taking care of family responsibilities, which leads to low energy Kalen, or in my case, low energy Rich. In short, I think the whole crew is a little bit of all of us, and I'm grateful for the pod, the guys who work hard to make it happen, and of course, the Bobo Boy Army. Woof, woof, y'all. So what Thanks, Rich, Rich is really saying is that we are the five Power Rangers whose powers come together yeah. to form... Morpheus. The, the, the Megazord being, that is that Rich. Is rich. Yeah, he's the Megazord, right. uh -huh. and we're all parts of it. All right. Yeah. What's it called? A Morpheus? Megazord. Megazord. Mor Morgan. No, Morpheus is, the guy, Morpheus is the guy from The, the Matrix. Matrix. Nemo. That's Megazord Disney. Is, is when all of the, uh, the Zords... <laughs> The bots, I don't know what it, uh, the the Power Rangers bots form together to uh, Captain America be Aladdin. one big robot right. for sure. Captain Planet, that's yeah. right. He could also be Captain Planet, Captain Crunch, yeah, yeah Captain sure. Morgan. Mm. It's a good captain. Hi, Captain Sergio Soto created a poll. No, he didn't. He did. He did. He says, "Fellow Bobos, <laughs> I'm sitting here with some ice cream, and I was curious. Do you guys lick or bite into ice cream? I don't eat ice cream." You don't eat ice cream? No. Ice cream? What is wrong with you? <clears throat> I mean, no. it's a, it's a why source not, of contention. Gary? No, no, it's a source <laughs> of contention with my wife. I, I like Ooh. ice cream. My wife! I like ice cream. And occasionally, if ice cream is put in front of me, I will eat it. But it'll mm. never occur to me to like go get ice cream. Mm. Really? Yeah. I just bought some ice cream a couple days ago. Yeah. At uh, Vallarta El Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Sure. They now sell fucking thrifty ice yeah. cream. Yeah, yeah. Chocolate malted crunch. Oh, baby. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, the thrifty ice cream. I feel like anybody who has ice cream does a little bit of both. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming this person's talking about on a cone, because if they're talking about in a cup, well, if then you're, you're absolutely it. ridiculous for licking it. <laughs> if you're or licking it out a of a bowl, you're crazy. Right. I use so my let's, fingers. Let's assume that, that you're a normal person <laughs> that was given an ice cream I'm cone. I'm imagining that, Dawson. In the beginning... You know, you gotta tease a little bit. You gotta do some licking, but then eventually mm, right. you gotta bite into it. You we get a little that. impatient. That's just right. Get, yeah, just bite right into that mm -hmm. thing. Well, Make everyone knows that you start, frozen. but with licking before you get to eating. That's correct. Right. That's correct. And then when you get to the like crunchy cone, 
is he suggesting that one would simply lick, it. lick that yes, until we, it dissolves? Yeah. Because lick it long again, enough. No, this is really dissolve. starting to take a long time. And yeah. there's still ice cream oh, right. that lives within the cone. And I mean, the like, best I don't part, have time for this shit, man. Mm-hmm. I have to bite it. Exactly. And yeah. the best part of the cone is biting in that cone, getting a little ice cream in there too, and just yeah, yeah, that's munching squirt. on that. Mm. Now, when I was a kid, I made the deadly mistake of. Biting out the bottom of the cone and then trying to get suck the ice cream through the bottom of it yeah. does not work. Everyone well, did well that it works. works. It's just Everyone really, really messy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a like a beer funnel, kind just of like just getting yeah. right under that yeah, thing yeah. and just sucking it out. That's right. Yeah. Well, Matt, not to turn your words back on you from a couple episodes ago, uh-huh. but if it doesn't get all over the place, it does not belong in your face. That's true. That, that's what I heard too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you guys prefer the cake cone or the wa- the sugar cone? Like the. Well, here's the deal. If I'm going thrifty, it's got to be the thrifty cone, right? That's the cake cone. Yeah. I think cake cone is the way to go for your standard ice cream shop. However, these days they have like artisanal ice cream shops. Like the like Afters is an example of a really good yeah, one. I love or the Or, uh, well, you know, I can't think of another name right now. The Claw. But uh, my salt point is. Straw. Sure. Places like that that actually make their waffle cones like on site. Those are by far the best, but you're not going to like a 31 Flavors and getting a delicious waffle cone. Right. I could not agree with Matt more on this, and I will say that if I was to eat ice cream, what would compel me is walking into an ice cream store where you are overwhelmed by the smell of the waffle cones that they are making. Yeah, I'm looking at Gary, and I'm thinking he likes the cone better than the ice cream. I do. He gets the ice cream for the cone. Mm, I, I The cone is a... An excellent accoutrement. I think so too. Mm. We need more cones. Like we need yeah. cones to be not just ice cream, but other things. I'd eat a lot of stuff in cones. French Maybe I fries. should do a shay on like edible utensils or like edible vessels, ser- vessels. bread bowls. Yeah, because I was gonna say, other than the bread bowl, the ice cream cone is probably top three most delicious vessels. Yeah, uh, yeah, the red vine straw. Another there's, good one. Yeah, there's you know, plenty. I'm gonna start taking notes. Right yeah, right start now taking. Here. Start taking. We're gonna notes. do a future. We, we, get, we, gotta, we have a shade another day, day. Right? We do have one that I'm excited about. Okay, great. Well, we'll get to it. In just I'm excited a about it too. Me too. Great. great. Is it more trucky food? Nope. Nope. Oh. I'll wrap that series up. Speaking of drinks, Jake Zerby says, uh, "Here's your, here's a drink for you guys. Screw the moon. Pour a screwdriver into a blue moon. Enjoy brunch this weekend, Bobos." Ooh, that sounds kind of good. That just sounds like you're fucking up two things that are really good on their own. I like yeah. the alliteration. I do. I like the name. That's for sure. Screw the moon. I'll try it. Yeah, me too. Remember How at the Moon, that bar we went sure. to? Matt I went remember, to for Matt's birthday. Matt's birthday. Yeah. I remember Matt's soul leaving his body at that well, bar. I, I wasn't <laughs> there to see it. Drunk. But I that saw him a. the next morning. That's yeah. like one of those dueling piano bars. They have them all over the country. I've been at one with Dawson in Kentucky. And and he started airdropping oh, shit yeah. to the chick's phone. <laughs> While she was playing the fucking <laughs> piano. And we're Such just sitting there watching. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, she was not happy. That was, that she was, was bad. Not I, happy I, I had a few with me. I was me. laughing I, so hard. I wanted, I had a little, you know, Gary just gave me a tech talk probably. I was really excited about this new feature called Airdrop. And, uh, How and I, I from I don't 3,000 miles away on the hook for this behavior. Oh, so I feel good. really bad because she had to stop the show and go, whoever's airdropping me, please stop. <laughs> And, uh, were you two just shaking oh, at that point? Was, oh, we were crying, laughing, but uh, you know, I could see how it, it wouldn't have been as pleasing of an experience for everybody else there. So I feel bad. She didn't actually stop. She just texted you back. Whoever it is, me. she said, "Whoever this is, please stop." Yeah, she said on mic. She, <laughs> she did say it on mic. No, she said on mic. I don't remember that I, part. No, I'd have her number. She can't oh, yeah. text via airdrop. You have to. You have to just talk. Um, yeah, that's the beauty of the anonymity of the airdrop. Uh, if you yeah. turn off your name, it'll just say iPhone has sent you this photo, and you have no recourse of like responding or. Yeah, we used to, wow. used to do it. we used to have fun. I used to do it on planes, and people send me stuff back. It was a good time. Yeah, you threatened to do it to me while I was reading my vows. Oh, see, there you go, Spencer. <laughs> Fucking psycho. Oh, listen, Spencer Smith has just overheard someone refer to his kids as fuck trophies. My <laughs> wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. My wife is not as entertained as I am, or apparently Dawson. <laughs> yeah. That is fantastic. And that then, is just <laughs> fucking great. And then uh, a lot of people, by the way, guys, uh, there, there are too many to mention, but a lot of people really enjoy the hot cocktail talk and, oh, good. and uh, whatever we did with our hot loads as well from the Key 3 mm. episode last week. So a yeah, lot of good. good reviews from that. <laughs> Eric Parpart says... Are we just going to bypass the fact that Chris enjoys dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets because the long neck and round head fits in his mouth easier? I feel like I said that. Yeah, it, it does. Mm-hmm. More chicken nuggets should be shaped like that. 
Uh, let's see here. I think Dan- we should refer to them as nuggies. Yeah. Chicky okay. nuggies? Just nuggies. All right. Yeah, we well nuggies could be weed, like dank nuggies. Mm, those are nugs, bro. Those are nugs? Yeah. All right. Dank dank nugs. And tasty nuggies. And tasty mm. nuggies. So if I go if I go up to a place and I'm like, hey, you got any tasty nuggies? They'll for sure give me chicken nuggets yeah, and not for marijuana. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hundred percent. I mean, unless it's this. in Colorado and they might give you marijuana infused chicken nuggets, but <laughs> then you're just that's you got a stew going, baby. That's gilding the lily. You got a stew going. <laughs> yeah, nuggets. <laughs> nuggets stew. <laughs> David Hundley says, I haven't had a neighbor quite as crazy as the mothball guy. Remember we talked about him? Yeah. yeah. But I I do have a na- next-door neighbor who was overly obsessed with his lawn. He was always fond of me until he got laid off from his job as a crop scientist and then cranked up his lawn game 500%. Was he a, a crap scientist or crop. Was a crop? Crop. Sci- crop. Okay. Yeah, don't get the two confused. Yeah. I hate that. Um, there's no there's no chance of living next to a crop scientist in Los Angeles. Probably yeah, not. but he cranks his lawn game up, and they start getting piss- pissy with me that I wasn't also mowing my lawn three times a week. I'm generally a non-confrontational person, but the day he decided to stick his head into my open front window to yell at me about something really absurd, I basically told him to fuck off. Yeah. Now he refuses to acknowledge my existence, and I'm Good. okay with that. But yeah, sometimes the crazy neighbors need to be put in their place. Yeah, people don't yell in other people's houses. Yeah. Yeah, there are, there are cool. other ways to do it. He has some rage issues. Uh, let's see. Danny Feynman says, I think there's something wrong with me. I love doing the dishes. Sure. I don't yeah, think there's don't anything wrong with you. Yeah, as I said, Come I don't, over. I don't mind do the either. dishes. Yeah, Dawson needs some help. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Dewey Smith. He says, hey, Bobo boys and girls. <laughs> I just wanted to tell everyone my uh, my latest adventure. The day before Halloween, I was battling COVID, and I started having intense chest pains. The last thing I remember, I was climbing into the ambulance. Six days later, I woke up in the hospital, and now I have a new defibrillator in my heart. Whoa. Whoa. That's a long ambulance drive. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they were lost prepared, the way they, yeah. were, they were Well, either prepared. way, I'm happy. I'm happy that it all got taken care of. I don't yeah. care how they did it or what routes they took. Um, Stupid ways. Maybe yeah. they should use ways. They, they should have used. You should do it. Yeah. Next time you're in the in the ambulance, <laughs> just tell them to hook it hook up to ways. Yeah. But glad that they helped you. Uh, yeah. And uh, Dewey says, take care of those little things. And uh, the doc has been talking with you about. And take care of yourselves. Hashtag Wolf Wolf. New lease on life. <laughs> so glad to hear you're 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 good, Dewey. Appreciate it, man. And appreciate you for listening and for sharing your story. And uh, yeah, take care of those little things. That uh, the doctor's been talking about, and more importantly, yourselves. Hmm. Uh, Ian Fitzgerald says, "Oh my God, it's so exciting!" Yep. I think that's oh in reference God, that's exciting. to Lynette being on the Patreon. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that was great. Also where you can excited. you can subscribe to that by going to Patreon.com/slash Watercooler. Watercooler. Yes. Uh, and uh, Ryan said the Patreon pod was Gucci Hundo on fleek. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, oh, nice compliment you can get. That's real. That's I, that's almost too nice. Yeah, it's up there. But thank you, Ryan. Hugo Cisneros says, just quote, yeah, but I've done 10 years of funny while you just merely existed. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> Powerful quote. Uh, Raymond Beltran Sr. He says, not to sound like a Grinch, but is anyone else annoyed by Christmas music before Thanksgiving? Yes. Several FM stations yeah. in my area play only Christmas music starting November 1st. Uh, I don't... I don't really care anymore. I, I maybe I'm just so used to it. Like I walk into Home Depot, it's all Christmas. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, they're saying that because of the supply chain stuff, that this is like the only shipment of Christmas stuff that a lot of stores are going to be getting. Really? Yeah. So you might want to hit that early if you're planning on getting decorations. That's just what some of the stores were saying. My wife and I went to a Home Depot last weekend to go get a new outdoor decoration because our inflatable train has died. Mm. Shoo boo. What's that? Mm. Choo choo, but I was booing mm. at the end. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of train related humor. I wanted to work. I There's wanted to work. There's a lot of train related humor. I got yeah. a two year old. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. You know, Gary, his inflatable not, train went off. You were the on the right track. Let's yeah. get back on track. Yeah, we got yeah. it. Um, anyway, we wanted to get a new outdoor one. And so we went to the home. Caboose. Demo. So all aboard. <laughs> Thank you. When we got I there. I now see what I was doing. <laughs> I don't like it. When we got there, Home Depot had a spectacular display of, it just looked like a winter wonderland. They had every single thing you could possibly imagine. And only to find out that the actual supply in the store was non-existent. 
They didn't have like oh, anything. It's yeah, just the display. display. So we just spent the whole time like, oh, let's we get that one. Oh wait, that one looks even cooler. Wait, we can get two of these. It'll be the same price as if we just get the one. Okay, so this is our this is our plan. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. And then we walked up. Not a fucking single thing in stock. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Unless and you wanted just like a stupid while. like wagon or something that didn't even look magical. Stupid wagon. At that point, not even a magical oh. wagon. Dude, if yeah. you get a wagon, I'll throw up in it. Yeah. It'd dude, be it's a, that it's, bad. It better be magical. Yeah. Does Santa have a wagon? No. What are we doing? Right. Yeah. Ugh. Right. You guys yeah. think I'm kidding? There was a wagon. I'm not even joking. That's yeah, what. I, yeah. That was. That is. That's what was why left. it was still there. Yeah. You can get the floor model. Well, what we? That's what I thought. I said, why don't we ask how much we can save on the floor you model? Just put stuff in the wagon. <laughs> Walk. <Wagon. laughs> we ended up getting the what appears to have been the very last one available online. Because mm. they said they weren't selling floor models. They were not going to sell the floor model. They needed to keep the displays up. I don't mm. like that. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah. But why? You don't have it. Who are you, who are you keeping them out because for? Because I guess they the want employees? someone to do like what we did, which is, oh, let's go look online and see if we can find this thing through HomeDepot.com, and we'll still order it, versus if it's uh, not on display, then they don't know that it's not available. But like all the stores are all picked over already. They were picked over two weeks ago. Yeah. Because they, the, the Christmas decorations came out early. Like, uh, yeah, Jen wanted to decorate her house for Thanksgiving. It's like... And I'm like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. Because it just feels like it just goes from Halloween to Christmas. Mm. Yeah, It's a major problem. Welcome. (laughs) I struggle (laughs) with it every year. (laughs) Don't forget the struggle. (laughs) There'll be a few more of these. I don't know. I'll be here for you. I'm just like, what do we do? do? What is a a Thanksgiving decoration? Text me. I got you. Inflatable turkeys. Yes. Draw my hand as a turkey. Yeah. You could do that. Hand turkeys. Hand turkeys. Yeah. Uh, Pretty much any sort of harvest imagery. You know, mm-hmm. pumpkins, a lot of leaves, wicker. scarecrows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that just fall. Wicker, great idea. Leaves. Yeah. Those wicker horns. Put yeah, 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 yeah. Pumpkins. yeah the, get a gourd. The cornucopia. Yeah, Maybe a cornucopia. A gourd or something. Ask Dawson if he has an extra keeny lying around. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. big. just put a big keeny out. Oh, that's true. Back yeah. in the day, you could do, you know, pilgrim and Indian stuff, but now you can't do no, that. No, you can't do that. That's right. not, you, you shouldn't I have know. done that back in the day, man. You know, it's really I've been trying to wear my now because, like you said, Halloween, Christmas... It's just an explosion of decorations. What are you supposed right. to do in that lull in between? And Thanksgiving is unfortunately like a problematic holiday for some people. So it'll never be wow. a like major holiday where everybody gets super into the decorations. I don't think it's ever happening. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You plus, hate it doesn't America, last don't as long. you? I don't. You do. You hate America. No, I just want more you ingenuity. Want, you should decorate. Just of, put turkeys out. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you also why it why it doesn't last as long because October. Is Halloween, so October first to the very last day of October. Right, yeah. then, and then November. It's November first for Thanksgiving. You, let, let's say you took an only Halloween decoration. Right, November first to like, like, like two thirds into November, and then and then you're done. And then you're done. And then you're back. And then you start Christmas the day after that immediately, all the way to like January second. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it's just it's just a shorter, a smaller window. Every month is Rocktober. That's true. Yeah. That's that's all I know, and that's all I decorate for. Um, but anyway, as far as Christmas music goes, uh, I, I don't really care. I, you know, it's th- I, I stopped taking shows in December just because people will expect me to play Christmas songs, and I don't. And you're a Grinch. And I'm, <laughs> I'm a Grinch, but also I just I don't think I perform them that well. A claw. So I uh, yeah, it's just like I don't think I do them justice. You got to find one or two that you like. They have to be maybe not the most well-known ones you can find some obscure ones and you got to find your own unique take on it like, yeah you've done that you do cool covers yeah I, I i can do that i have done that yeah but it's just uh, uh i don't know it's not what you want to do it's not what i want to do mm. not what i want to do but I, but at the same time i do want to spread joy and i guess that's uh, according to the movie elf that's what you got to do to that's spread exactly right christmas cheer the documentary so, with yeah. will ferrell that's right that's Correct. The one. speaking of shows i am playing uh, a show at Tantalum in Long Beach this Wednesday, and then at Wilmore Wine Bar this Saturday. What dates are those? They're in November. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> yeah. At this they're, point. They're in November. That was all I was worried about. <laughs> November 24th, and then uh, for Tantalum in Long Beach, and then November 27th for Wilmore Wine Bar mm. in Long Beach as well. Big mm. Knowles. Saturday after Thanksgiving. That's the, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, I, th- this one was uh, a nice message, too. Christopher Truitt, he wrote... This Bobo Boy has been going through a difficult time in terms of mental health. But the first 20 minutes of the show 
all I've been able to listen to so far has made me laugh more than I have in the last 20 days. Yeah. Thanks all for right. all that you do. Well, thanks, man. Thanks, Chris. Right on. Appreciate it. Do Glad it, true it. the show. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, appreciate What'd it. What did you so say? I, do it, true it? Do it, do it true it. Like do it, it. true it. Like it. it. You found redemption. Yeah, do <laughs> it, true it. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt Johnson, lastly. Oh, this one was weird. He says, I just got done listening to 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus 69 plus 30, and I would agree that candy corn is the worst candy out there. However, my wife made me try... Who? However, my wife made me try them with peanuts, and it's a game changer. Try it out and let me know what you think. Wow. Nah. Mm. I'm going to do that. <laughs> that sounds fucking spectacular. Okay. Because the, the candy corn is really like a, a honey. That's actually what the flavor is supposed to be. Mm. <laughs> so it should accompany... Honey and nuts, they go well together, man. Cheerios I'm not, I'm not that. doubting that they go well together. I'm saying mm. this is akin to, don't you like Bob Marley music when you have a pina colada and your toe's in the sand, you're getting a blowjob. Like, <laughs> yeah, I do. But I don't need to fucking do a modifier here. There's yeah. fucking candy out there that's good. Yeah, that's true, too. Mm, candy good corn candy. and peanut. I'd try it. Yeah, I would But totally what if it, it sucks? Well, do you have candy you have corn at your candy house, corn in your house? Do you have candy corn? No. Oh. Uh, well. I wouldn't buy that. So how are you going to try it? I'll just go to a it fucking just has Target, to be if somebody... open up a bag, take a handful, and put yeah. the bag back. Yeah, where do we get candy corn now? Is that, <laughs> oh, is now it... Matt's doing the looting. <laughs> <laughs> is this? A, yeah, we could we could find candy corn. I'd try that. That sounds delightful. Nah. No. I, uh... What is your favorite M and M's? What, what's your favorite kind of M and M? Regular M and M's. Just plain. Yeah. Good choice yeah. for sure. Very good choice. Yeah. It's the wrong choice, but <laughs> that's, that's the correct choice. <laughs> sure. Here's the thing. The best one is the peanut butter one. Which oh, is crazy because Reese's, Reese's pieces. pieces used to have the market on the individual chocolate peanut butters, but yeah. I'm afraid e. M and M peanut butter has taken it really to the Absolutely. next level. They're thicker. They're thicker in the can. And, and the, here's the, the problem: the Reese's pieces, it's just candy coated peanut butter. M and M's, you get the candy. The chocolate and the peanut butter. So oh, okay. chocolate I'm down, and I'm down Reese's down pieces. That. That's that. correct. I didn't oh, even know lame. this existed. I'm all for that. It's the that. red bag. Of I'm into that. I'm getting it, dude. I'm getting it. Yep. You won't regret it. I hear the pretzel one's really good. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say the crispy one's really good too. <laughs> yeah, but I feel rice. like those are not long for this world. They're well, not. But, gonna, they're not gonna be eternal like the peanut butter is. Those ones are good if you want a handful of something. Like if you want, I, I, you don't want to need a whole bag of the pretzel ones. It yeah. gets a little overwhelming. If you want to need a whole bag of one? It's the peanut M M&M. and M. No. Yes. Those are great too. One million those percent. Terrible. The only thing that sucks is you get less of them because they're so big. Mm. So your bag has less units. But, I mean, net weight, mm-hmm. still probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> this actually is a great transition to my Chez Fondelay. Well, that's so funny yeah, because really that is. was our Clawman 6. Everybody hey. for riding in. <laughs> and let, let us transition to Matt's Chez yep. Fondelay. Oh, no! What type of foods might we hear of today? What might be the price? What might be the venue? So let's find out. It's time for Gary to say, hey, Matt. What's on the menu? Well, I'm glad we're talking about the M&Ms because I was going to begin today, Shay, by talking about trick-or-treating, just briefly here. You used to love getting the, the different kind of candies and stuff. Who doesn't love it? Right. But there's one thing on Halloween night that every kid hated to get, a box of raisins. And at the time, I thought... Who in their right mind would give out raisins on Halloween? Right. But as an adult, I've learned, and I'm not sure if you guys even realize this, starting November 1st, it's raisin season, baby. (laughs) Yeah. No other time of year are raisins featured as prominently in our food culture than they are at the end of the year. All the delicious desserts, you got the carrot cake, mm. you got the, like uh, the panettone, mm. like those delicious like bread Italian things. Personally, on Thanksgiving evening, one of my favorite memories is when my mom would make the noodle kugel, which again, features raisins prominently. Now, Dawson, you're making a face, you're making a sound, and I don't blame you, because raisins do have a bad reputation. Raisins are awful. Why? And every dessert that you've mentioned is the <laughs> shittiest dessert out there. I don't know what the Graydon Kugel is. Kugel's incredible, but it's but, definitely uh, not for everybody. Yeah. You don't like carrot cake? I don't like raisins I, uh, in my carrot cake. Like I tolerate cake. carrot cake, okay. but if you put raisins on it, mm. it's not on uneatable. It. And, in it. And I will tell you uneatable. this, Matt. It's uneatable. I know it's raisin, it's raisin season, and you know, raisin sometimes season. sometimes <laughs> I'm I'm you know, I'll I'll be grazing for some raisins, sure. Sure. No. But 
if you put raisins in my Thanksgiving stuffing, I will slap you. I will <laughs> oh, yeah. not eat it. Uh, I hate raisins in stuffing. Why do they do that? I don't know. Stupid. Even the golden raisin, it's a different color. It's still awful. Here's the thing. I feel – I did a lot of soul searching about this. Mm. and We can tell. I realize it's not that I hate raisins. I just don't – I don't love them. I hate I'm, America. I'm fine with them. Mm-hmm. And I realize that I think I was traumatized as a kid. <laughs> and maybe too. you guys were too because mm. there was a little thing called ants on a log. Do you guys yeah. know what that was? It's celery with peanut butter. And the celery is the log with peanut butter, and then the raisins are the ants. Yeah, so we're immediately associating raisins with ants. We're like already – Conditioning ourselves to not want to That's eat raisins. That's what you think it is. Uh, That's correct. That is the raisins seed suck. that has that has uh, <laughs> developed into this complete hatred of raisins. It's totally unwarranted. So what should we call it? Okay. What do you mean? Like it, instead of ants on a log, would be something more appetizing. I don't know. Fucking raisins on a fucking carrot. Anything's yeah. better than <laughs> ants on a log, dude. dude <laughs> chocolate know? chips can look like rat shit, but I'm gonna still eat them. They're yeah, pigs in a blanket got by. Those yeah, are delicious. Exactly. Yeah, I'll go for some pigs. Pigs in a blanket, in a blanket. ants versus ants on a log. Yeah. All right. So again, this is raisin season. But oh my god, you have one more of those. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more of those that can fly in this room before I absolutely lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Chris ain't one of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, dude. There are, however, some year round raisins that I think people do enjoy. Again, this mm-hmm. is the time of year where they're highlighted the most, but go to any movie theater in America, get yourself a box of raisinettes. You got yourself the worst a, a, candy, a box of the worst candy a in the world. Mediocre. Disagree movie snack. with Dawson. I, I love raisinettes. It's not the worst, Dawson, but I. Chocolate covered mm. raisins. Chocolate covered raisins. That's are like great. candy corn with peanuts. It's no. just, it's, yeah, sign it's me really up. nice. They <laughs> they fit well together. Now, also, I don't know why the raisins need to be there, but cinnamon bread. You guys ever had just like some cinnamon toast that has raisins in it? Yeah, I don't, like, one, I don't like I don't like the that's raisins the one in it. Thing. Delicious. Now on the chop on the topic of the chocolate covered <laughs> raisins, you also get the yogurt raisins, and that leads me to trail mix which is really the probably most often utilization of the raisin. I like raisins and trail mix because mm-hmm. uh, I, I like the saltiness with the raisin. I don't know why that that's nice. And, Gary, I'm surprised that you haven't brought this up either. The, your favorite cereal is? Raisin Bran. That is exactly what I want to talk about next. I was going to say who in their right mind would ever enjoy a cereal that contains raisins in it, and I didn't realize that we have a monster Living among us. No, Matt, you have monsters because I freaking love myself some raisin bran. Really? So it's my favorite why? cereal. I don't know why. Really? If I put down <laughs> some fucking cinnamon toast crunch and I put down some raisin bran. Those, yeah, enjoy your cinnamon my... toast crunch because I'm taking the raisin bran, boy. Oh my god. Those are my favorite two cereals in the whole world, and I would still probably take the raisin bran most times. Why do you guys just because I didn't think cinnamon, cinnamon, toast, bowel I don't movements know. In no, the I like... cinnamon <laughs> toast crunch is fucking dessert, which is great, but it's not. It's it's dessert. I like that crunchy raisin bran. No, yeah. that's bullshit. That's good. I'm fine with that too. I don't like that. The but the, raisin I bran. like raisin bran, but also dental surgery. Yeah, that's nah, the one. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, because the, the raisin bran, you got to eat that shit quick because it becomes mush. I do. That's what I like. About I do it. eat it quick. Mm. Yeah, it's never mush with me. And by the it's way, get all crunch. The these last pe- bite. These people who think that you can go refill a bowl with the milk from the first one. Mm-mm. JV, yeah, you're doing yourself a disservice if you do that. If you have enough milk to do it again, you do get it, it again. cold, get it crisp. Oh man, my mouth's watering God, thinking some, of some raisin, raisin bran right now. Jesus. Yes, wow, yeah, but keep that shit out of my stuffing. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, there's one more innovation that we have to talk about here. It came across maybe a decade ago, maybe 20 years ago. It's hard to time moves fast. Somebody thought, you know what? Enough with just the grapes. That's not the only raisin in the game. I've got these grape size fruits. They're called cranberries. And I'm going to make something called craisins. How do you guys feel it's about an abomination. craisins? An it's abomination. An abomination. I, I think they're love, fucking delicious. I love dried cranberries. You could probably even put those in my Thanksgiving stuffing. Uh. And I'm good with it. I love them in salads. I love them by themselves as a snack. They're tart. Mm-hmm. They're nice. They're not overly sweet like as a raisin. I mean, they are sweet, though. But I love a dried cranberry. Mm. One million percent. I think it's a brilliant idea. I'm surprised that we don't have straisins because I would eat those. I'd eat a straisin. A strawberry. Oh. They're just called dried (laughs) strawberries. (laughs) Duh. Yeah. 
Well, they're not, but the, but these are like these aren't just like dehydrated because there are dehydrated strawberries, right. but the right. dried ones where they're just like wrinkly. And Dare I say, nuggies? But they, they don't. It doesn't translate. That's not what happens to a strawberry. I can make it. I can do it. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Have you tried? Cherries are good like that. The, the, oh, traisins. Traisins. Oh, yeah. Oh, traisins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those, yeah, are, those good. are good. Traisins. Um, what rough. about prunes? Are you you into prunes? Prunes are awful. <laughs> Prunes, I like a prune. as bad as a raisin is. I think you guys are confusing raisins with prunes. No, I know exactly no. what a raisin <laughs> is. No, but it's like a, it's like aware. a bigger raisin. Don't uh, you understand? Uh -huh. No, prunes are good. I like a prune. Yeah, yeah. I mean, growing no, up, you see those had. No, I do you, like a prune. No, you only eat them when you are an old person. Or that's see, that's a that, young person with the bowels of an old person. That is the bad PR that prunes have gotten, just yeah. like ants on a log. Is mm -hmm. you watch, and I, I just think, oh, there's an episode of Rugrats where they ate prunes to poop or yeah. something. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, um, they're they're delightful. They're good. They're dried. I can't have a, I can't have a ton. I'll eat like a dozen mm -hmm. or a dozen of them. But <laughs> when was the last time you you would say you ingested a prune? I I probably ingest. Probably six a year, at one sitting. I don't have them often. <laughs> like it's December fourteenth. <laughs> Once every three hundred and sixty-five days. My bi -monthly yeah, I don't prune. have But I will like if you put prunes in front of me, I will eat them and I'll yeah. enjoy them. I like them. Sounds like a challenge. They're yeah. good. They're just plums. Yeah, they're so good that you're like, here, I've had six. I'm good for a year. <laughs> well, no, that's right because they only I only six in front it's of me. Be I'll, I'll for eat the next more. year and a half. I'll so. eat more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and they're good for you. Why don't we have it, Chris do a whole episode where he eats prunes? I will. Put some prunes in front of me. Oh, I did have pr prunes. We had those those Japanese sour prunes that are in the fridge. Those weren't good though. But I like regular prunes. Well, and and I know they I know they they make you they make you go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but and they're, you know, old people eat them because of that that effect. I, to be honest, I never noticed it, and I just enjoy them. They're just a nice food. And I wish they'd be. I wish they'd be more incorporated into society. Is not the food that just makes you shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least for now, it's raisin season. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> I had to look it up that last time. Jesus. I love it. Well I, done. I love it. Well done, and thank you, Matt. That You're was welcome. that was wonderful. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I love raisin season. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's. Well, that'll do it for today's episode of Water Cooler. I'm hungry now. You guys made me hungry. So why don't let's we get uh, some prunes, baby? Yeah, why don't we go around the horn, get our plugs in, and then we'll GTFO. I'll start over here with Gary. No, I wasn't ready. Okay, I'll start over there with Matt. Matt, what can I do for you? Well, first, I just want to give a sincere thank you to all the water scientists out there yes. that are working hard to innovate what is perhaps going to be the last thing that survives virtual reality. Yeah, you know, it's really going to be the last tactile experience that we have. They don't really get the credit they deserve, mm -mm. and they do such hard work. I agree. Yeah. Um, also, I I'm on another show. It's called Sword and Scale Rewind. We talk yes. about murder and then we laugh about it. There are lots of episodes with me and a funny comedian named Ian Bag. Episode 161 is out now, which is an episode that I wrote the actual Sword and Scale of. Oh. So I talk a little bit about the process. Good. I'm curious about that yep. too, because Matt puts in a lot of time, a lot of effort, makes makes uh, a lot of connections yeah. with people involved with the case to, in order to get, to uncover more information about it and get the nitty gritty and the details. So, yeah, if you want to hear about that process and hear Matt and Ian cracking wise soon, just being funny, uh, because God, we need it, especially with a subject like that. I'm sure. So check it out. Sword ends scale rewind. Rewind. Happy Duff. Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Nice. Duff, what's up with you? Um, we got band practice in an hour and a half. We're getting ready for the show at the Mint, uh, December third, Friday night. Uh, late show. We're on at ten thirty for about forty five minutes. Dude, that's a good set. You got to have your COVID fucking card, which is lame. But if you got it, take a fucking picture of it because they're not going to let you in. And I uh, hope to see you there. And if you say, "What in the wide, wide world of sports is it going on here?" I'll buy you a beer. I just want to see people do that in the bar. Yeah, I would like. I'd like to see that too. Yeah. All right, December third, the Mint, Mike Dawson, and the Smoking Kills. Gary, what's up with you? Uh, check out Reasonable Doubt on uh, YouTube, youtubecom slash podcast. and uh, the big show each week is on Adam's channel. So make sure you're subscribed to both of those. All right, beautiful. And yeah, Gary's been killing it. He he posted that Rittenhouse uh, video 
Real quick, they're probably dude. Ones. You're the one who posted the written house video, not that video. No, oh, okay. oh. <laughs> the video oh, that... of us reacting to the verdict. <laughs> the written, yeah, the written house reaction video. Excuse me, I should have been more clear. Um, and yeah, it happened like right after the verdict, so it was really cool that Gary got that out. And it was, yeah, check it out on YouTube. A lot of people are going nuts over it. And as for me, um, oh, this is going to be bougie, but I'm going to do it anyways because I love it. So there's this website called the caviarfarm.com. Also, Marshall Burke Farms. They called it an ACS. I met her, I met the owners of the farm in, when it, we did shows in North Carolina, and they sent some caviar over to the show. So I just want to give them a plug because we've had it. It is truly delightful. And, uh, yeah, if you like caviar, that's where you get it from. It's legit because there's a lot of crazy caviar rules going on with, like, China and what's legit and what's not. And mm. This place is super legit. It's Russian sturgeon, and they uh, they make excellent caviar. So check it out. Thecaviarfarm.com makes great gifts. All right, that'll do it for Water Cooler. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll be back for a uh, Whoops Giving Patreon episode tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. tune in for that, and we'll see you there. Good night. Love you. Bye.